Hello friends, welcome to Medicine Hub. As we are talking about right, uh, you know the feline allergy and the tyrosine metabolism and their enzymes in each stage. Now we will talk about the dysfunction of the enzymes or the disorders regarding the protein metabolism. Okay. Now we can see it here. What? That's it. That first I just talked about the phenyl alanine hydroxylase. There is an enzyme which helps to convert the phenyl alanine into tyrosine. Now whenever there will be deficiency of this enzyme, whenever the de there will be deficiency of this enzyme, that means what? Deficiency of you know what phenyl alanine hydroxylase. hydroxylase now whenever there will be deficiency of this enzyme that will lead to form what why there is deficiency because there is a genetical you know, dysfunction genetical dysfunction why because there is a gene okay and these genes cannot uh, whenever there will be dysfunction of the gene or uh, this gene will be not produced in the enough amount to produce what the enzyme that is phenyl alanine hydroxylase at that time that will lead to form what that is the disease that will form the disease is very very important that is called you can see the phenyl ketonuria we can write pku pku means phenyl ketonuria phenyl ketonuria okay now what can happen here in the phenyl ketonuria there is a you know dysfunction in the gene and which gene is not be able to produce enough amount of the enzyme that is phenylalanine hydroxylase which will form which will convert the phenylalanine into tyrosine and as a result what will happen if this enzyme if this enzyme is least amount then what will happen there will be accumulation there will be accumulation of too much phenylalanine so what can we say this one so what, what will ultimately lead to there is so accumulation accumulation of what phenyl and alanine alanine and whenever there will like the you know accumulation of the phenyl alanine at, at the time it will lead to what the dysfunction within the brain especially so cause what brain damage the accumulation of this cause brain damage you can saw the, the dysfunction in the nervous systems or we can sort the dysfunction in the neurotransmitter of course dysfunction in neurotransmitter neuro transmitter okay guys then we can see also mitochondrial dysfunction we can see mitochondrial mitochondrial dysfunction we can see also there so in these cases now this is all about what the you know what the phenyl ketonuria now <coughs> there is also enzyme you know there is tyrosinase what that will form that will lead to convert the tyrosine into Parahydroxyphenyl pyruvate, and there is enzyme that is called transaminase. And whenever there will be like the deficiency of this enzyme, deficiency of this enzyme that will lead to form what? Tyrosinemia type two. Ty, no, sorry, it's tyros, tyrosinemia type two. Tyrosinemia type two. So why? Whenever this enzyme will be like less or the dysfunction of this enzyme that will lead to form what the accumulation of tyrosine too much accumulation of tyrosine too much and that will form what tyrosine type 2 and in this case we can say it's that will form what that will especially that will cause the effect on the what the effect effects eye you know skin then it will also inhibit inhibit the intellectual development intellectual development okay guys there's the tyrosinemia type 2 here okay then we are having what from the para hydroxy you know phenyl pyruvate that is we are getting what the homogeneity and there is enzyme there is what the phenyl you know para hydroxy phenyl pyruvate hydroxylase and whenever this like this function of this enzyme that will form what the, that is like neonatal neonatal tyrosinemia 
that means it will it will be found in case of the children okay those are like after birth in case of the children they will have these things they will be they will suffer from the neonatal tyrosinemia with because the in deficiency of the enzyme what the para hydroxyphenyl pyruvate hydroxylase okay whenever there will be deficiency of this enzyme that will lead to form of the neonatal tyrosinemia then we are having one more enzyme that is what from the homogeneity set we are getting four maloyl acid acetate homogeneity from homogeneity set we are getting four maloyl acid acetate and whenever there will be dysfunction of this enzyme whenever the homogeneity set oxy homogeneity set oxidase whenever there will be the whenever there will be the deficiency or uh, dysfunction of the enzyme that is the homogeneity set oxidase it will lead to form what a disease that is called alkaptonuria is also important as you can remember alkaptonuria alkapto nuria that relate what alkaptonuria now we have to know about the alkaptonuria so it is one type of the genetical same thing like the phenylketonuria genetical metabolic disorder metabolic disorder guys then it will form what what whenever there will be the dysfunction of this enzyme whenever there will be the dysfunction of this enzyme there will what accumulation of accumulation of too much homogeneity set accumulation of too much homogeneity set so the dysfunction in the alkaptonuria you can see the accumulation of too much or homogeneity set and whenever there will be like the accumulation of homo, too much homogeneity set at the time as a symptom you can see what there is like dark urine the color of the urine will be dark here. So we can see the dark urine in case of what alkaptonuria then we are having or there is also one more enzymes here we got the last product that is the four fumarate acid acetate from here we can go to the fumarate and that will go to the tca cycle and ultimately lead to, uh, that will go to the etc like electron transport system ultimately form the atp and another thing we are, we are getting what we can go into the other you know you know ways that is like acid acetate from there it will be converted into fat okay so there is an enzyme that is called hydroxylase with the name of the opposite substrate hydroxylase and whenever there will be like the deficiency of the four fumarate acid acid hydroxylase that will lead to form the tyrosinemia type 1 tyro c no tyrosinemia type 1 okay oh guys now i'll talk about the tyrosinemia i say i just said okay take to here okay okay i said about it okay no problem now guys i just said about the dysfunction of those things and if you just take if you, if you want to have this screenshot you can take from here okay like the phenyl ketonuria that's most important like captonuria what is happening and the dysfunction of the enzymes okay guys i hope you understood let me know in the comment section for the new update